Hello family, this is Q with Mixed Herbs and today I wanted to talk to you about should you be a member of an organized religion? And the reason we're going to dive deep into that today is because a lot of us, we're in a religion and we're a member of it and we are just, we didn't actually choose that religion. We actually grew up in a family that was part of whether you're a Christian, Islam, or whatever the religion is. And we just basically be a part of that all our lives. We never really made a choice to choose whether we want to be in a religion or do we. And, and the whole concept of a religion is it's based on a belief. So if you're going to be a member of anything or any organization, you tend to want to know what are all the core beliefs of that particular organization. So with religion, they actually post on different websites or whatever church you may join. They put in what that particular church uh, core beliefs are. So whether this might be we believe that uh, and we also and they also have rules and regulations and they have bylaws. So it's a whole lot go into um, a religion that a lot of people don't look. We just go to it to fellowship. So that's some of the pros of being a religion. You get to fellowship with other like minds, other people who believe the same thing as you and so forth. And they also provide a lot of um, insight on, you know, the afterlife. Um, heaven and hell, whatever the belief is that that particular re religion has. And then you have other religions that actually have a lot of rules. Like I think um, one of the Christian ones is um, Jehovah Witness. They don't uh, vote or don't do any blood transfusions, etc. So in terms of that, when we're looking at religion and how it plays a part in our life, Sometimes you have to look at it from the standpoint, what is the best interest? What am I really um, learning from this? Because in a, in a sense, when you are part of a religion, you actually believe in whatever, whatever is um, in that particular uh, book or whatever foundation that it, it is upon, whether it's like, say, Christian religion is based on the Bible, and then you have the Torah, then you have um, the Quran. So all of your beliefs have to come from these particular books or whatever, or whatever your interpretation of those are. So in the long run, you might want to look at it and say, you know, I've been in this. Let me really take a hardcore look into what are my beliefs are and some people what happens over time those beliefs turns into i would say where people just takes it as true they they end up looking at a belief and coming up and saying hey you know this is not what i believe this is true this is blah 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 and over time you start to take those beliefs as being true and and then when somebody challenge you or bring up some information on it then it becomes kind of an argument or it gets kind of um, heated debate about this and, and, in, and in a sense when you go back to it this is just some belief that you believe in so let's say that you in one particular religion and they believe in heaven, but no one has passed away to come back and say, hey, this is how heaven is. Or if they believe in hell, nobody's went to hell, came back and saying what hell is like. So you have to really look at that and say, hey, you know, I really we really don't know. We really just just putting our faith into this and we really don't know for certain. So we got to look at it like sometimes you can you can look at a situation and step away from it. So when you step away from religion and you just 
go on your own beliefs, just sometimes you might just go back and sit back and think about what would be the afterlife? What, what would be after death? And so if we are spiritual beings having a physical experience, you would look at a situation and say, hey, maybe the body passes away and then the spirit lasts forever. And you develop your own belief system based on your internal um, understanding of everything instead of just deriving it straight from a book, per se. So say if these books didn't exist, what would be your belief system about what life would be when you pass away or what life is, what is the afterlife like? So that's something I wanted to just share with the family to say when in terms of what you want to look at, should you become a member of a religion, it's a lot deeper than you think. You should really analyze and dive a little deep into that and really see if it's right for you. So I can't say it's right or wrong to be a part of religion. Sometimes, you know, religion plays a good part in a person's life. It op offers discipline, a lot of things. I mean, you can, you, can um, you know, be involved in a lot of events, a lot of things that the church offers. But at the same time, you know, you wonder what benefit am I getting year after year after year after year? And there might be more to this than I really have looked beyond just looking at it from an organization of certain beliefs that they believe in and you look into you internally from your spiritual being and say what are my core beliefs what do i really believe so this is just something i just wanted to share right quick and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and we'll be putting up more content more and more as time goes on um Peace.